This is another tutorial from learnfreephotography.net. In this tutorial I will teach you about advanced airbrushing techniques. So we'll start by creating a new layer. We'll grab the spot healing brush tool and make sure that you have sample all layers enabled. Make your brush the appropriate size and just start clicking to remove blemishes. Okay, next we'll select the clone stamp tool just to get into those tight to fit areas next to edge detail. Next we'll create a new layer, use our paintbrush, set the opacity to 20%. Use the Alt key on your keyboard to select a colour sample and click a couple times underneath the eye bags to lighten them up. create another layer. This will be a good time to rename our layers so it won't get confused later on. Okay next we'll select our clean up layer using the same technique we just used for the under eye. We'll go around and clean up the image. Remember to sample along the way to get the right colours. Next we'll create another layer. We'll call this one Highlights. This is going to remove the highlights on key spots such as the bridge of the nose, the forehead and the cheekbones. Again using the same technique, sample and brush over. Okay, so now we're going to improve the eye colour. We'll come down and we'll create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We'll set our colour to yellow since our model's eyes are yellow. We'll click, click the plus sign eyedropper and we'll click a couple times around each iris. Okay, we'll increase the saturation. and we'll invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl and I on the keyboard. Use the paintbrush, remember to turn the opacity back up, and paint back in. We can see what we've done in this layer mask by pressing the backslash on the keyboard. Pressing backslash again to turn it off. Okay, now we want to increase the contrast of the hair, so we'll create another adjustment layer and we'll choose brightness and contrast. We'll bump the contrast up to 
plus 25. Again, we'll control I to invert the layer mask and we'll start painting in detail. Backslash on the keyboard. It doesn't matter if this part's a little bit messy, since it's only going to create a contrast. Again, you can change the colour of your paintbrush to black to paint back in areas that you've accidentally gone over. Backslash on the keyboard again to remove the mask we just enabled. Okay, so now we'll lighten up the skin. We'll create another adjustment layer mask and we'll go to Curves. With a single point, move up just a couple of notches. Control I on your keyboard to invert the layer. Grease your brush size and we'll start painting in the brightness again. Decrease your brush sizes for those narrower places. Okay, so now we want to give the lips more definition. So we'll create another adjustment layer, and we'll select Curves. In the shadow area, we'll move down with a single point, and in the highlights, we'll move up. It's only a slight difference. So we've inverted the layer mask again by pressing Ctrl-I, and we'll paint in the detail. Okay, so now we want to create a new merged copy of all of our layers by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E at the same time. And using this layer, we'll clean up the rest of the face. So we'll go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we'll set to around three pixels. So we have to create a layer mask and we'll invert it by hitting Ctrl and I on the keyboard. Okay, paint over the face, avoiding areas such as the eyes, the eyebrows, the nostrils and the lips and any other details such as the cheekbones.
hold down Alt and click on a new layer. And we'll change the mode to Overlay. Click on the checkbox that says Fill with Overlay Neutral Color. And we'll go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And we'll set it on about 9.98%. Gaussian and monochromatic. Okay, next we'll add a blur. Filter, blur, Gordian blur. And set it to a point where the pixels start to lose their sharpness, but not completely. Zero point two. Okay, we'll hold down Alt and we'll drag the layer mask up from our previous layer. That has copied the layer mask onto our new layer. If you've missed any areas, pan back onto our layer mask. We'll decrease the opacity until the noise starts to look like skin texture. This completes the tutorial for advanced airbrushing techniques. Thank you, please comment, rate and subscribe, and feel free to browse our website www.learnfreephotography.net.